I wanted to give you a quick demo of the application uh, that we're going to be building in this course. Now, as you can see, this is the front end application. Um, there's an entire back end application that is supporting this front end application, and we won't be covering that back end in this demo, but we will be seeing all the features that we're going to be building in the front end application. So, as you can see, this is a user management application where you can you have a list of users and you can update, create, or delete those users as you wish. As you can see here, this application has two tabs there's one here where we have all the users, and then this other one where we have the profile of the logged in user. So if we go back to the list of all the users here, you can see we have this nice table with all the users and we can take a look at their information. So if I click on one of those users, you can see all of their information come up. We can see when they joined, when they last logged in, what role they have in the application and if their account is unlocked, etc. So you can also see that we can also edit those users. So if I click here, I can actually edit these users. However, um, I can't edit the role. You can see the role is locked. Okay, if I click on it, nothing happened. Now, the reason this user doesn't have access to do this, it's because of the role of this user. So if we go back real quick and check out the profile of this user called Beth, you can see down here, Beth is a manager. And to the right over here, you can see that for this role, she can only read and update users information. And that explains why when we go back to the list of all the users, uh, we don't see a button to add a new user or delete a user because she's not allowed to take those actions in the application. She can actually update like if I go here, I can actually update this user here and this user is inactive. I can go ahead and make that user active and I can even change their name to John. Okay. So I can change the name, save, as you can see, I can update, but I can create or do anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at Morty. So Morty here is a simple user as we can see, right? So I'm going to go ahead and sign out and then I'm going to go ahead and log in with Morty. As you can see, we can't log in with Morty because Morty's account has been locked. So if we go back and log in with Beth, again, um, Beth is a manager, we can see Morty's right here. And if you click on Morty, you can see it says account locked. Okay. And that's why this is red because Morty's account is locked. So I'm going to go back and then in Morty again, I'm going to unlock Morty's account. So I'm going to click on this and then save. And if we check Morty again, you can see now account unlocked. Okay. So Let's go back and log out and log out with Morty. So I'm going to select Morty and then I'm going to log in. As you can see, we're logged in with Morty. Now you can see the application looks exactly the same. However, if I click on this edit here, you can see everything is locked. I can't click on anything. Um, everything is grayed out and then it says read only for everything, which means this user only has permission to see the information, but they can't change or update or create or delete the information. And if you go back to his profile, you can see here Morty has role user and Morty can only read the information. Okay. So you can see that um, Morty can't do anything. You can click here. There's nothing you can do. Everything is locked. Now let's take a look at summer. So summer is the first user. You can see that summer is an admin. So I'm going to go ahead and log out and then log back in with summer. So let's go here and I'm going to log out and I'm going to do summer right here and then log in. Now you can see the application looks a lot different. We have this new button here, which is a button to add new user. And then we have this edit, which we've been having. And you can see everything is now unlocked because this user is an admin. And if we go back to this user's account, we can see that they can update, they can create, and they can read, but they can't delete. So if we go back again, we can see that the delete button is there. But if this user tries to delete, they can't delete. And that's why I leave this button here. I could have just gotten rid of this button altogether, not show it unless you're, uh, you have this permission, but I'm showing it here so that you can understand, you know, the implementation of this. So if I click on delete, can't delete. Um, I can also search all the users. So if I type Rick, you can see as I type, then the list is filtering and if I put summer, you can see the list filters itself. And I can also reload all the users. I can click on this and all the users reload. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have this new settings here now that I didn't have when I was logged in with a new, with a user that wasn't an admin. So now I can click here and as you can see, I can change the user's password by just passing in their email here. And we can check this out real quick. So if I go down here, I select Jerry and I get Jerry's email and I go back. Um, if I put some random email that doesn't exist, 
it's not gonna work. And if I put the real email, it's gonna take some time because it's working on the back end. As you can see, we sent an email to this person here and they would actually get a real email in their email. Obviously, this is a made up email, so <laughs> I hope nobody has this email um, because I don't wanna be spamming anyone. Uh, but they would get a, a real email. So now the last thing I want to do is to deactivate a user. So um, if I go here again for Beth and then I make her inactive. So I'm going to uncheck this. As you can see, it changes automatically. And then I save. Now Beth is inactive. Now if I try to log in with Beth, you will see that it says the account has been disabled. Okay, because she's not active. Um, and the same will happen if the account is locked. If the account is locked, it'll say, hey, the account is locked. You can't really log in. So now what I want to do is to log in as Rick. Okay, so I'm gonna show the difference now with Rick. Now log in. As you can see, the application looks exactly the same. However, if you go to Rick, you will see that Rick has this delete permission because Rick is not only an admin, Rick is a super admin and only the super admins have the delete permission in addition to everything else. So I can come here and then delete a user. So let's say I want to delete Jerry. I can click on the delete. As you can see, it works perfectly. And then of course I have all the other function. I can update password. I can filter the users. I can add a new user. Just gonna add some random guy here. And then I can select whatever I want them to be. And then I can make sure they're uh, active or not. And then save. You can see this user now is entered. And I don't know if you notice, but you can see here, this user has this avatar, okay? So by default, we're gonna use the user's username to give them a very specific avatar according to uh, what their username is. So if I enter someone else, you will see the avatar is different. And I can show you that real quick. So if I enter some random person here, give him some random username or whatever, and then give him a role and then save. You can see now this avatar is different. That's because we're reaching to some external API and then give him, you know, a specific unique avatar. And of course I can go to my profile. I can update my information. Like I can put a middle name here or something and then save. I can update my picture, uh, click here. And then you can see the picture is updated. I'm going to put Rick back because this is not Rick. Select the picture again, updates back. Um, and so on. So now let's go ahead and log out with Rick and I'm going to show you what happens if we try to log in with Rick with a bad password. So I'm going to remove this password and I'm going to put some random password here for Rick and I'm going to try to log in. So I'm going to do that one doesn't work two, three, four, five, and I'm going to try again. Now the account is locked. Okay. So it says your account has been locked please contact administration because I try to flood the application and we have a mechanism where we listen to how many times someone is trying to log in. And this is a mechanism that I created so that we can mitigate brute force attack. If someone is trying to log in with, you know, some correct username and they don't know the password, they're going to keep trying and trying until they get it right. So we want to mitigate that and that's just mitigating brute force attack. So I'm going to go ahead and log back in again with Beth. If she's not disabled, yep, she was disabled. So I'm gonna try Morty. And as you can see here, if we take a look, we can see Rick is locked, okay? You can see we didn't do this manually. It happens because this person or this user, Rick, was trying to log in multiple times within a specific window, which I set to 15 minutes. So within 15 minutes, if someone's trying to log in like five times, their account is gonna be locked. And that's what happened to Rick. Um, so, I think that's everything. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but anyways, that's the whole point of creating, you know, a course about security because ultimately this is what you want to do. You want to build an application with very fine grained security where different users have different permissions. And this is what you would see in a real world application. Um, so I hope you guys are excited. There's really a lot to cover uh, in this course and uh, I'll see you in the course.